what is it about counseling that you find helps is it the way that they help you frame problems or is it to tease out of you how you're feeling about something and almost to challenge those assumptions i'm just i'm genuinely kind of interested what i found really interesting is just the teasing out and and by me explaining the way that i perceive the issue and them actually then going well actually have you ever thought looking from this perspective or right. ever have you ever thought of looking is this a way that you would have thought before you were disabled is this and so it just forces you to question why you're mm -hmm. thinking the way that you are mm -hmm. um but the very fact that there was no um you weren't blamed for thinking the way that you do that you, they didn't judge you in any way which i found really helpful because i went in assuming that they got they were the professionals and i yeah. guess it was sort of tainted from how tom had grown up you always i was always under the impression that it somehow would be turned around it'd be my fault again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it wasn't um and and that was really quite helpful yeah and i i just think it's um fascinating because it's that balance of where you will have people who maybe have been suggested my wife is a classic example where i'll say to her actually have you thought about doing x and this could be to do with anything yeah, yeah. and she'll ignore me and then when someone else says exactly the same thing, she might take it on board because actually someone else has said it. Forget what Steve thinks. But, you know, there might be people who've considered getting counselling and maybe feel that there's, you know, underlying trauma there from anything that they've kind of been through. And sometimes hearing it from two or three different sources, different people, and, mm -hmm. you know, people saying that actually it did genuinely help because it's, yeah. it's that balance of, you know i'm a typical bloke where i'm skeptical of everything and it's just even uh, a month or so ago i had a guy called steve where on who was talking about mindfulness and it's i'm interested in everything but i'm always like really does it work but then likewise yeah. that if people actually say no it really does and this is why it helps and this is why it works for me i think that's the beauty that you sometimes get with longer form content and podcasts and interviews mm. and stuff because in a two minute video you can't tease that out but actually no. it's the kind of thing that someone might think you know what actually maybe maybe i should speak to someone and that's why i was keen to yeah kind of ask and i think that independence as well they they <clears throat> don't come into that room with any preconceived ideas they don't know where you went to school they don't know mm -hmm. who your friends are they don't know your story so they are looking at it with completely like almost 2020 vision yeah because they they're not <clears throat> pulled emotionally or <laughs> really so that's I think that for me at first I was worried about opening up to someone I didn't know yeah but actually it was the best thing that I could have done because they didn't know me yeah and and the advice that they were given wasn't slanted to any preconceived ideas no okay and I think it's I think it's just it's really good kind of lesson to ask 